Hi friends, let's see how to install JFrog Artifact 3 in Linux. Okay, you know JFrog Artifact is a artifact repository management. Okay, it, it will help us to maintain all our artifacts in a single location. Okay, right, let's see how to install it. Just as usual, just click on the download. Okay, J uh, first of all, yeah, open this https jfrog.com slash open source okay there is a open source uh, uh software is there there is uh enterprise edition also there enterprise edition will be costly and open source will be always open uh what is it it is a free of uh cost for us okay right so uh give open slash jfrog.com slash open source okay and click on the download zip file okay download zip so just click on it so i don't want to download this zip file here honestly what i will do i will stop it here and show show all i want this link i just want the link of this okay copy link address and go to the linux server go to the linux server now let's create a directory mkdr jfrog go inside of jfrog i'm i'm just taking a fresh directory that's it okay it doesn't mean you should be inside of the jfrog or you should be inside the software and all not at all a matter wherever you are not a matter at all okay just taking a fresh directory that's it and then use the delegate command to download it and give the link okay whatever the link you uh copyright just give it here okay it will it will take a while to download it okay so once you have downloaded we will rename it to the original file this is the original file and uh, give that remove that bracket to here it's not required okay so this is our original uh, original file name this should be the original file name so 97 percent is completed almost done okay so you can see the file has been downloaded with this name so let's rename it to the original uh, file give the mv space file name space jfrog.jip okay so let's let's copy the history here also guys on the notepad as usual history table of 10 so this is a command i am using for downloading first step is to download download your project number two rename rename this file with the original file name third one is to third one is to extract this okay extract it okay i mean unzip okay so unzip this unzip jfrog okay this zip file so what i have done i just extracted this using unzip command unzip so thing here is before you go ahead and installing all this what is the prerequisite for this okay we should know the prerequisite also guys okay so uh, uh i'm sorry i should have informed this in the starting itself okay what is the prerequisite prerequisite is java okay java java Better you install Java 1.7 and greater than version. I have already installed Java in the system. Okay, so you can see Java space hyphen version. Okay, so I already have the Java. So Java is mandatory to run this one, right? Okay. So how to install Java? You can see it in the another video. I have already elaborated all the steps and explained it. Okay, right. So prerequisite is Java and then go for the JFrog Artifactory download. JFrog Artifactory installation in Linux. Okay. 
steps right so uh, downloaded renamed and extracted so what is the final step just go inside the you can see go inside of artifactory the other directory okay go inside the bin go inside the bin and so currently i am inside the jfrog the artifactory whatever the directory extracted under the under the inside the bin directory okay so here you can see several files here okay there is a artifactory that bat is there artifactory dot sh is there bat is there sh is there so the, if you have downloaded it in windows you have to run this batch file if it is in linux just run this uh, shell script file okay so uh, if you want to run it in the background always run it in the background no hub sh space script name in the background this is a command to run this program uh, in the background okay so you can see the you can monitor this log no hub dot out Okay, so it is getting started. I am making more of the steps here also. And this one is to tail iPhone F no hub dot output. Okay, so it is getting started. You until and unless you see info, 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 warnings also fine. Until and unless you see any error, there is no problem at all. See now, it's artifact reverses, okay. Uh, open source software is coming up and running now. Almost, almost over. Actually, it internally uses Tomcat. It internally uses Tomcat. And inside the Tomcat, it will, it will deploy its own web application. So, uh, you, we know Tomcat uses AT. 80 port number but artifact uses 80 81 port number that that will display here for us okay let's see that uh see here starting um protocol handler http port number 8081 okay this is the 8081 port number okay so at the end it will display uh server is up and running the uh, up and running Right, this is the message I am looking for. Okay, artifact server successfully started and uh, within these many seconds. Okay, right, perfect. Now just give host name hyphen i to get the IP address. Go to this IP address http colon slash slash IP address. What is the port number? 8081. Right, just browse this URL. This yes, perfect. It is launching artifact web application. Okay, so this is how this is how it will launch. Now, if, if you see this, welcome to JFrog artifact. This is a message it should display. And click on the next and give the new password. Okay, so you have to configure the password here. Okay, admin, admin, and go to the next. Good. You can skip all this. You can skip this one also. Finish it out. So this is how you have to. You can log in. If you log out, what are the new password? You can use. You you have given. You can use that. Okay. Admin is a user by default, and pass, password whatever you have given, you can give us. Right. This is how you can log in. And if you want to create your own repositories, uh, you can go ahead and uh, create your repositories under the administration local repository what are the repository just click on the repository what is the repository you want you want to create the maven repo for example my uh, local repo uh, this is the type is maven maven so uh, give the uh, repository key my maven repository okay and uh, maven 2 is the default one so uh, see the configurations of this one and then just click on the finish okay so this is how we can create the repositories under the jfrog automatically server this is my maven repository you can just right click on this uh, native browser you can see what are the artifacts have been uploaded all the artifacts you can um, browse it through the through this url okay right 
so this is how we have to install jfrog artifactory in linux server okay and this is how we have to create the uh, repository in the um in the jfrog artifactory console as well right thank you so much guys keep watching at the devops world for many more videos in the future thank you